So if you are making a shell car and you have plans to hollow out the shell of your car in the lab without using a CNC, this is the video for you. Now, when you make the shell of your car, you do have a couple of options. One of those options is to start at the drill press. Now, before you actually go ahead and go to any machine or use any tool, you should definitely transfer this design onto your blank. So I flipped mine to the bottom and I sketched out where I need to make my shell. I've also taken some measurements. So I know that over here, my shell needs to be about 10 millimeters deep. And here at its deepest, it needs to be about 30 millimeters. I've also marked off where my cartridge hole is. So I know that as long as I do not go into this zone, I will be good to go. Now, once I have all that done, if I do want to head over to the drill press, I'm going to come to the one in the middle. So this second drill press has a special drill bit on it called a Forstner bit. You will notice that the Forstner bit is quite a bit wider than the drill bits that we're using for our axle holes, and that is so that it can clear out more material. It also is going to produce a hole that has a flat bottom, so all of these holes were created by Forstner bits. It does have a nice little point in the center, but otherwise it's nice and flat, which is going to be helpful for our shell. Now this blank that's already here is actually attached to this board, and I've done that so that you can have an inverse so that your blank, when you put it on top of that, is going to be nice and flat across the top. So you're gonna go ahead and put your blank on top of this one and use a clamp to clamp them together. So putting that right on the seam, squeezing the handle so it's nice and tight, not going anywhere. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set up my Forstner bit. I've already done a couple of test holes here. So I'm gonna set up my Forstner bit and turn on the drill, drill press situating it so that my next hole is gonna be, be attached to the first one I drill, again, trying to chunk out as much material as I can. When using the Forstner bit, you may wanna do a couple of passes just to make sure you're not going too deep. So as I'm using my finger to feel around in this hole and also using a caliper to check the depth, I've gone a little bit less than the initial hole that I drilled. So this one is at 30 millimeters. This one is probably at about 27. So I'm gonna go ahead, go just a little bit deeper. So that I'm starting to create the bottom of my shell. Now what you will do if you are choosing this method to get rid of the initial material is you're going to continue making more holes and they are going to be attached to each other. You'll notice that as I'm doing this one handed because one hand is holding the camera, my wood does move a little bit on me because it wants to slide into that already existing hole, but you're going to continue going all the way down, creating those holes and thus clearing out a large chunk of your material. You can do that for the bulk of your shell if you'd like to. However, if you do go too deep with the drill press, which you, it is very easy to do, you would have to buy a new blank. So you can either start here, or if you would like to avoid this method, you can head straight to the table and check out our chisels.